Today we'll be making some nitroglycerin. <laughs> Warning, do not try to recreate anything you see in this video. Nitroglycerin is a powerful, dangerous, high explosive that will detonate under pretty much anything that it comes in contact with. In chemistry, it is used to make TNT, which is used in mining. When I was testing the nitroglycerin, it was so loud that the neighbors thought I set off a gun. I then convinced them not to call the police and apologized for almost blowing up their backyard. I made several attempts on making the nitroglycerin and only a few attempts were successful. In this video, I will be showing you the one that I had the most success with. To make the nitroglycerin, all we'll need is some fuming nitric acid, concentrated sulfuric acid, and some glycerin. If you need the links to the materials, I can post them in the description. To start, what we want to do is to cool the fuming nitric acid to about 5 degrees Celsius. We can do this by taking out a 100 milliliter flask and then cooling the fuming nitric acid in an ice bath. After it has cooled down, we then can add our sulfuric acid. This will cause the mixture to heat up. When the two are mixed, lower their temperature to around 0 degrees Celsius. When our solution is lowered down to 0 degrees Celsius, we are ready to add our glycerin. This is a dangerous point as this creates a lot of heat. It is extremely important to keep the temperature below 40 degrees Celsius as this will prevent an explosion. If the temperature gets higher than 40 degrees Celsius, you have two options, run or you can put the mixture into an ice bath. I added about 5 milliliters of glycerin to my mixture. I then added a stir tablet and gently stirred it for about 10 minutes. After the 10 minutes, you want to set up 150 milliliters of water to a separate beaker, as this will separate the acids. It is very important to cool the water first, as when you add the mixture, the sulfuric acid will collect with the water and generate a lot of heat. Wait about 10 minutes with the water mixture in the ice bath, waiting for it to separate. In a normal reaction, the nitroglycerin will form at the top of the water, but it should sink to the bottom if you were to gently stir it. You then can collect it with a dropper and then store it in a vial. You could use sodium bicarbonate to dry it, but I didn't have any so I decided not to do that. When the nitroglycerin is kept in the acid solution, it is somewhat stable, but becomes unstable when it dries. I took some of the solution out and placed it on a paper towel. The paper towel should dry it and after 5 minutes it is ready. My neighbors probably love me due to all the loud explosions I do in the backyard, but I'm pretty sure at this point they're already used to all the chaos that happens. Thankfully, the FBI hasn't raided me yet, so I think I can squeeze in a few more videos before I'm arrested. So subscribe and stay updated on my latest content.